Today I'm gonna show you how to create this motion graphic e-commerce store animation on just PowerPoint. So let's start creating. First pick a rounded corner rectangle and then drag it over here like this way. Now I'm just resizing it from every side so that it looks like a monitor. Then drag this yellow dot to decrease the roundness of it. Now go to format, click on shape fill and give it the same background color. Then go to shape outline and pick this color. Then again go to shape outline, go to weight and increase the weight. Now pick a line shape and holding the shift key, drag it over here like this. Then go to format, click on shape outline and pick this color. Then again go to shape outline, go to weight and increase the weight. Now pick a oval shape and holding the control shift make it like this. Then place it in the exact middle, go to format, click on shape fill and I'm giving it the same background color. Now go to shape outline and pick this color. Then again go to shape outline, go to weight and increase the weight to this. After that pick a top corner rectangle and drag it over here. Now you need to resize it so that the gaps are equal from every side. Then drag this yellow dot to decrease the roundness of it. Now go to format, click on shape fill and give it the same background color. Then go to shape outline and pick this color. Then again go to shape outline, go to weight and increase the weight to this. Now select this rectangle, press ctrl D to duplicate and remove the roundness of it. Then resize it like this way, place it here, right click on it and send it to back. I'm resizing it a bit more and place it in the exact middle. Now again duplicate this rounded corner rectangle and increase the roundness of it. I'll resize it and place it here. Then select this line shape and press ctrl D to duplicate. Then move it to here, holding the shift key, drag it like this way. Right click on it and send it to back. After that, we need to pick a rectangle shape and make it like this. Then go to format, click on shape fill and pick this color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now I'm resizing it a bit and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now place this one here and resize it a bit more. Now here I'm just duplicating the same rectangle and giving them a different size to make the variation. This is a really simple steps. you just need to duplicate the rectangle and place it in the right position. Now duplicate a smaller one from here and place it to the top. Then resize it a bit and again press ctrl D to duplicate. Place this new one here and press ctrl D 5 times more. Now by selecting all the small rectangles, I'm just placing them in the exact middle. Then again duplicate this place it here and make it a smaller one. Then again duplicate this, place it here and press ctrl D two times more. Now select the second rectangle from here, click on the small icon and from here increase the transparency to 15%. Now select the third one and increase the transparency to 25% and for the last one we need to increase the transparency to 35%. The reason behind I'm doing this just to add a different shadow color. Now duplicate this rectangle, place it here, resize it like this way and again ctrl D to duplicate. Then go to arrange, go to rotate and rotate like this way. Now place it here, select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make them union. Now rotate it like this way, holding ctrl shift, make it a smaller one and place it here. Now select all these small rectangles and ctrl G to group. Then bring them a bit downward and do the same for this one also. After that we need to pick a text box and drag it over here. Now I'm just changing the text color, the font to Vardena and its size. Now add some text here. I'm typing brand new stylish bag then place this text box here 
and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Now place this new one here and change the text by typing the amount. Now by increasing the font size, place this text box here. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate and place this one here. Now change the text and decrease its font size. Again duplicate this one and change the text. After that select this line shape and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Now holding the shift key resize it like this way. Then place it here. Go to format, click on shape outline. Then go to weight and decrease its weight. Then again press Ctrl D to duplicate. Place it in the same line. Holding the shift key resize it. Again duplicate and resize it. Now select this rectangle and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Now place it here, resize it and duplicate this text box. Move it to here, change the text to buy now, change the color of this text and make it bold. Then place the text box over this rectangle, select all these elements from here and move it to upward. Now just holding the Ctrl button, select these three line shapes, press Ctrl D to duplicate and place them here. Then pick a triangle, make it like this. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate and make it wider one. Place it in the exact middle of the previous one. Select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Now go to shape fill and change this color to this. Go to shape outline, make no outline. Now duplicate this rectangle Make it like this, place it here in the middle, select this two, go to merge shape and make them union. Now resize it holding the Ctrl shift and rotate like this way. Then move this mouse pointer to here. Now go to insert, click on picture and from here I'm just taking this bag and desktop picture. For now keep this desktop picture here and resize this one. Place it here, I'm just resizing it a bit more and place it in the exact middle. Then pick a star shape and holding the control sheet make it like this. Place it here, go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Press ctrl D to duplicate and place it in the same line. Now place ctrl D three times more. Place this back shape a bit downward and also this arrow shape here. After that duplicate this text box and place it here. Again duplicate this one also and keep it here. Now you need to add the animation. So select this mouse pointer, go to animation, click on this drop down arrow and select this line animation. Now move this red dot to here and change the duration to 0.75 seconds. Now select this arrow shape, click on this drop down icon and select fill color. Then from effect option select this darker color and duration 0.25 seconds and start after previous. Now click on add animation and select this fill color again. Now from effect option select the actual color then change start after previous and duration 0.25 seconds. Now holding the control button, select this bag icon and this two text boxes. Then click on this drop down arrow and select disappear. Set start with previous and duration 0.25 second. Now from here, I'm just changing the text and the amount also. Now place this text box over this one and this amount text box over this one and resize this desktop icon and place this one over here. Now select this three elements and select appear and duration 0.25 second. Now I can go to the slideshow mode and here our animation is working perfectly. Like this way you can add more products in our store. You just need to add the elements and the animation process is same like before. You can download this template for free, I've given the link in the video description. If you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like and subscribe this channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.